Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Chancellor Alexander Cartwright, and it's truly uh, so exciting to welcome all of you here today for this wonderful announcement. Today, we recognize two very important supporters of this institution of education, constitutional democracy, and so much more. Rich Kinder, who graduated from our College of Arts and Science in 1966, and our School of Law in 1968, and his wife, Nancy Kinder. Thank you for being here today. Before we begin, I do want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the service that Rich has given to this country as a veteran. Thank you so much, Rich, for everything you've done. I also want to acknowledge the remarkable service of so many others who have done so much for this country and allowed us to be here today. Thank you to all of our veterans. Thank you. Rich, as all of you know, and Nancy, they don't think small, they think big. And I think it was one of my first conversations with him where he talked about the need to think big and that that's what makes an institution great. And we're seeing that today. We're seeing the vision that he had for creating an institute for research, education, and community engagement that we now call and all love the Kinder Institute on Constitutional Democracy. And that was started with a transformative $25 million gift in 2015 through the Kinder Foundation, of which Nancy is president. Over the past four years, the Kinder Institute has certainly lived up to their incredible vision. Maybe I can go so far as to say that it has even exceeded their expectations. The Kinder Institute and its exceptional faculty, staff, and students have helped to establish Mizzou as a world leader in American history and political thought. It has enabled us to host international renowned speakers, such as Pulitzer Prize winning author David McCullough, and conduct a series of public talks that showcase that that showcase the research of our world-class faculty fellows. The Institute also enables our university and our people to push the boundaries of their own education and scholarship. Its summer program helps place our students in highly sought after internships at organizations such as NPR, Congress, and the State Department. And the Institute's alumni and graduate fellows have been awarded prestigious fellowships. And they have gone on to attend some of the world's top graduate programs or taken academic positions at many esteemed universities. And remember, it's only been four years. So pretty remarkable. One of the alums even started an education nonprofit abroad. All of this is just so remarkable. Clearly, Rich and Nancy have a strong and transformative vision for our community. And I'm thrilled we can celebrate that vision even more today. Both Rich and Nancy share our belief that we can better shape the future of our great nation by understanding our history. And today, we are here to celebrate another remarkable gift in the spirit of this charge. I am thrilled to announce that the Kinder Foundation is committing an additional $10 million to support the Kinder Institute of Constitutional Democracy. <laughs> this latest gift will help our incredible students reach even greater heights. It will support two new degrees in our College of Arts and Sciences, uh, our College of Arts and Science. Sorry, my old institution popped out. 
I apologize. <laughs> a Bachelor of Arts in Constitutional Democracy and a Master of Arts in Atlantic History and Politics, which will sustain and expand the Institute's critical partnership with Corpus Christi College at the University of Oxford. This is an international opportunity that gives our students an invaluable educational experience. And to further enhance Mizzou's living and learning environments, this gift also establishes the Kinder Institute Residential College, designated for students pursuing the new bachelors in constitutional democracy. Rich and Nancy, we can't thank you and the Kinder Foundation enough for all that you have done for Mizzou. Your generosity and commitment just is so inspirational. Thank you for that. And I have to tell you that your, and you know this because I know you've interacted with some of these uh, uh, remarkable individuals, but your support, we're able to attract some of the world's brightest students to come to Mizzou and to build on the next generation of Mizzou-made leaders. In fact, one of those leaders is joining us today, Riley Messer. Thank you for being here. We'll get to hear about Riley's incredible journey in just a bit. Again, I want to thank Rich and Nancy for their support and partnership. We are so proud to have both of you be part of our Mizzou family. Now I'd like to turn it over to Justin Dyer, the director of the Kinder Institute. Justin. Well, this morning we are grateful. We're grateful for the generosity of Rich and Nancy Kinder. We're grateful for the support of our students and our faculty and our alumni and members of the community who have come out this morning to be with us on this occasion. We're grateful to Chancellor Cartwright for his support of this project and to Provost Ramchand for her support of this project and to the Dean of the College of Arts and Science, Pat Oker, for her support from the beginning. The College of Arts and Science has been a partner with the Kinder Institute on this vision over the last year and even two years as we've put together a vision for what the Kinder Institute can be and for what it can achieve on our campus and in our community. We're taking a big step today in realizing that vision. And as we partner with the College of Arts and Science to launch these new degree programs, we look forward for the future and for the opportunities that will be available to our students. In the new bachelor's degree in constitutional democracy, students will have an opportunity to pursue an integrated interdisciplinary course of study on the ideas and the events of the American founding and the development of constitutional government after that. Through the Kinder Institute Residential College, students will have the opportunity to enter into a classic and timeless model of living and learning as part of higher education. But of course, we can't really understand America, and we can't understand the American founding outside of the broader global context in which it arose. And so we're also launching a master's degree program in Atlantic history and politics. And as part of that program, putting America in a broader global perspective and global context, we're partnering with Corpus Christi College at the University of Oxford. And we're delighted to do that. We wished that uh, the president of Corpus Christi College, Helen Moore, would be with us today. Unfortunately, she is in a plane right now from Chicago to Columbia. And so she got caught up in some of the weather. And what I want to do instead then is turn it over to Professor Jay Sexton. Professor Sexton came to the University of Missouri. One of the great things that the Kinder Institute has been able to do is recruit and retain top faculty. And Jay is exhibit A for us. Jay came from the University of Oxford. He did his PhD at Oxford. He stayed on as a faculty member at Oxford and spent 18 years there. When he came to the University of Missouri, it opened up all sorts of possibilities for us in terms of partnering with Oxford University. And so as part of this master's degree program, students will have the opportunity to take nine credit hours at Oxford, taught by Oxford faculty, before they return to Columbia to complete the rest of their MA program. Instead of inviting Dr. Moore up, 
I'll now invite Dr. Sexton up to say a few words about this new partnership. So I'm coming off the bench. I, I now know how Matt Moore feels. Um, <laughs> Uh, who actually, he did a great job, didn't he? Um, so if I can do that, that'd be great. Um, I love the English people. Uh, Helen Moore has been stranded in a Chicago airport since yesterday at about three o'clock and has been calling me essentially every 30 minutes. And most Americans would exhibit some kind of frustration, um, but not the English. She's like, oh, no worries, no worries. So, um, and I told her I would read the statement, but that I would not try to do her accent. So here, here are her prepared remarks. Uh, it is a great pleasure and honor, honor spelled with a U, uh, to be here today on this very important occasion for the University of Missouri. I had the privilege of meeting Rich and Nancy Kinder and the members of the Kinder Institute board and several other Mizzou alumni for the first time in March this year when they visited Oxford on the spring break program. It was immediately evident that Rich and Nancy have a genuine passion for education and its role in promoting and protecting civic society and the values on which both of our countries are founded. I was also delighted to meet and speak with some of the students and faculty of the Kinder Institute. Their delight at visiting England, many of them for the first time, and the speed with which they got to know Oxford was very impressive. I thought their energy, ambition, and optimism, along with their desire to seize all the intellectual and cultural opportunities offered by their trip, was remarkable. Corpus Christi greatly values our partnership with the Kinder Institute, and we're delighted that our connection is being extended with the creation of the new Kinder Institute Fellowship that will bring an outstanding Oxford graduate to Missouri to study on the Institute's MA in Atlantic History and Politics. Our two institutions have a shared conviction that the values of constitutional democracy are even more important now than ever before. They need to be studied, upheld, and defended, and each one of us has our part to play. Corpus was founded 500 years ago, in 1517, at the, at the very beginning of the modern era, in a time of rapid technological change and burgeoning liberties, a time, in short, very much like our own. Then as now, rapid progress also led to political turbulence. It is at such times that the values both of our institutions stand for, academic excellence, freedom of inquiry, the pursuit of truth, are to be celebrated and upheld in partnerships such as these. Those are Helen's comments. And I should say, if you want to see uh, Helen in, in action, she will be here on this stage, I think, at 3.30 to introduce our guest lecturer, Tamsin Peach. Thank you very much. Four years ago, I would have never imagined that my deep dive research expedition through the various Mizzou websites would lead me to this very point. As a high school senior, I stumbled upon some sort of organization known as the Kinder Institute that seemed to be built for politics and history nerds like me. Little did I know, this organization would completely transform my undergraduate experience through opportunities that I had never considered possible before, ultimately leading me to where I am today. I am endlessly thankful to be here to express my gratitude to the ones that made my undergraduate experience possible. Thank you to my brilliant peers, to all of the hardworking kinder faculty and staff, and most importantly, to Rich and Nancy Kinder of the Kinder Foundation for your tremendous generosity. Your support for the programming of the Kinder Institute has touched the lives of so many students like me at the University of Missouri and beyond. When I first stepped onto campus as an incoming freshman, I was daunted. On a campus so large, with more than 30,000 undergraduate students enrolled for the fall, I worried about finding a community at Mizzou that would be right for me. I wondered how it would be possible to stand out at a flagship institution like MU. 
However, I was quickly welcomed to the community on the fourth floor of Jesse Hall after reaching out to the Kinder Institute's Director of Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Carly Conklin, to discuss what the Institute was all about. I can still vividly recall feeling so nervous before stepping into Dr. Conklin's office, but after a few minutes of talking to her, my fears rapidly dissolved and in their place formed new feelings of excitement ambition, and newfound possibility. We began an impassioned discussion about the architecture of Washington, D.C. and its connections to political philosophy. And at that point, I knew that I had found the place for me. I also knew, after learning about the various opportunities provided by the Kinder Institute, that my dreams for undergrad would be much bigger than I had ever imagined. In an instant, I realized that I, an 18-year native of a Missouri town with only one stoplight and a population of fewer people than the entire incoming freshman class at Mizzou, I could gain access to opportunities that had never seemed possible before. So, I got to work. I began my dive into the proverbial deep end by signing up for various Socratic seminar style courses offered by the Kinder Institute in my second semester, and eventually by applying for the Society of Fellows program. As a fellow, I was provided with a formal opportunity to learn more about constitutional democracy with a cohort of bright and curious minds from various disciplinary backgrounds. For a year, we worked together to write and perfect our dream essays. And before I knew it, I was a part of a team of published writers whose hard work was exhibited in the Journal on Constitutional Democracy. My experiences with the Kinder Institute built upon one another. So following my involvement in the Fellows Program, I utilized my research expertise and professional connections as a DC Summer Scholar. As someone who has seldom lived outside of the state of Missouri, the prospect of spending a summer in Washington as an undergraduate without worrying about the costs of living expenses was inconceivable to me before the Scholars Program. And yet, the Kinder Institute made it possible. Ultimately, I found myself spending my last summer of undergrad with a group of vibrant individuals that became some of my closest friends as we interned and studied in our nation's capital with the support and guidance of the Kinder Institute faculty and staff. A summer in Washington, working alongside some of the top students from schools across the country, proved to be an invaluable experience, both professionally as well as personally. Throughout my undergraduate career, I found myself attending various guest lectures, events and colloquia, and even a book club centered on primary source readings from the founding era. Not as a way to bolster my resume or improve my grade point average, but because my involvement in the Kinder Institute sparked my passion for these subjects. I chose to do these things because they were fun. Simultaneously, I found myself solidifying my career plans. Through meeting and taking classes with leading scholars in the realm of constitutional law, my interest in law school and a legal career was continually reinforced as I explored my passions for law and public policy. So although I graduate this spring, I, pre I feel prepared moving forward. The Kinder Institute equipped me with the tools and experiences necessary to be a nationally competitive applicant for post-graduation opportunities. I plan to bring its core messages of interdisciplinary study and intellectual curiosity along with me, wherever I end up for law school and beyond. I will also always carry with me the sense of community fostered by the Kinder Institute, which has provided me with lasting friendships, connections with mentors and confidants, and a place on campus where I truly felt welcomed and at home. I know that I will always have a community as well as a cozy place to enjoy a Keurig coffee on the fourth floor of Jesse Hall. Now, I'm honored to introduce the ones that made this all possible. If everyone will please join me in welcoming our generous donors and supporters, Rich and Nancy Kinder. Come on, this is, we're not worth this. <laughs> I'll be very brief. You know, it's uh, when you hear people say nice things about you, it's really good for your ego. 
uh, and that's what's happened here today. But the really, the compliments ought to go to Justin Dyer, Jeff Pasley, Jay Sexton, Carly Conklin, and the rest of the team at the Kinder Institute. What they've done since we started this institute in 2015 is just amazing. You've heard a lot of it uh, about it today, uh, but it's their drive, their ambition, their hard work uh, that led Nancy and me to think very seriously about making this additional gift. Uh, obviously, we wanted to support these important steps forward, the two degree programs, uh, the residential college, uh, and our partnership with Oxford, and that's what we hope and expect this additional grant will do. Uh, so they're the ones that really deserve a round of applause and credit, and I'd like to give it to them right now. There couldn't be a finer testimonial to this institute than you just gave, by the way, and I wish you great luck in law school. The uh, final thing I would like to say is, uh, in this whole process uh, of working in partnership to create an institution like the Kinder Institute, uh, we have been immeasurably helped uh, by the administration of the university. And I want to single out uh, the Chancellor, Alex Cartwright, the Provost who's not here today, Pat Oker at uh, uh, Arts and Science. We've even exchanged reading lists occasionally. Uh, her tastes are much better than mine, I might add. <laughs> But at any rate, you all help make it possible. You can't uh, create something like the Kinder Institute without a true partnership uh, between all of the interested parties, and that's the kind of cooperation we got from the University of Administration. So Nancy and I are happy to be here, happy to continue what I believe is a great partnership between ourselves, the University of Missouri, uh, and the Kinder Institute. Thank you for attending, and we're delighted to be here. Thank you. Well, thank you all for being here to celebrate this occasion with us. Please join us for a reception immediately following, and please join me in thanking Rich and Nancy Kinder one last time. Thank you.